Hello and welcome back to episode 7 of my Super Mario Galaxy playthrough. In the last episode, we tackled the first prankster comet in the game, as well as the first mission of the Space Junk Galaxy. In this episode, we're going to try and tackle some more e stars of the Space Junk Galaxy. <clears throat> I meant star before that episode. You all knew that. Camilla's airship attack. More airships. You know, those fans don't have any working at all. In space, there's no air. They won't work in a vacuum. Ba -da 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 -da. Epic music. Yes. So we are at war. You remember that. We are at war. Now let's kill some goons. And that was useless because I didn't get this stuff. Now I'm gonna kill you. Die! Now I'm gonna kill you. Very simple concept. Hit the lever, and it falls. Boom. Rabbit explaining you basics of the spin jump technique. Obviously, you don't need that. You've seen me playing the game so far. Yeah, that was dumb. But we'll live up. We'll make up. We'll make up for it. Might as well open this chest right now. Boing. And now we got some more stars to Spin, and we get a launch of stars. They really don't go... They don't let you down on the star bits. I mean, it's annoying to collect, but they do not let you down. Number of star bits, though. I mean, initially this game was going to have a limited number of star bits per galaxy. They've done away with that, and this method is obviously, or in my opinion, much better. And it worked out well. These are the same guys. Oh, what's this? I didn't even know about this. We learn something new every day. Well, that's a nice discovery right there. Did not know about that. Actually, I did know about that. I never learned how to go. I never knew you can go in that way. I lied. See, I thought it was a new discovery, but it really wasn't. It was an almost new discovery. It was very... Same thing as before, except now you have to hit up with the shells. Same easy enemy to defeat as before. And this will introduce a new power-up, so to speak. Not exactly a power-up. I'll explain in a second when I actually get the power-up. After I kill this guy. Stupid piece of crap. Die. Koopa kills me. I'm gonna be so pissed. Let's not die from something stupid. Now, this is a new concept. Health meter grew to six. If you lose too much health, it goes back. Nothing really special. Very helpful on later fights. <clears throat> Don't really need it here, but it's there, so why not use it? Right? Back and forth, shoot fire at you. Avoid the fire and eventually shoot the Koopa shell at you. Stupidly, you can use it. That's the way most bosses are used. They produce the thing to use their attack. They give you the means of killing them. And they don't learn from it after you hit them once. I mean, if you're smart, you notice, oh shit, he's killing me with these Koopa shells. I should stop shooting them. But no, I'm gonna keep shooting them and let them kill me. Of fairness and good sportsmanship. That's right, that's all Camilla had in mind. Good sportsmanship. About as a boss in the Mario game as you would say. Also, spin on the shells. Collect them, you don't have to jump on them because that's a lot harder. <clears throat> 
and the first star of this episode is gone. Bits. And of course, we'll save the game. <coughs> okay. Now we'll go back to the Space Cream Galaxy and tackle Star Number 3. And it is. Terran Tox's Tangled Web. the same area as before, but we get the eerie calming yes. And this music is good. It does not help. If you're depressed, don't listen to this music. And I just took a hit from a spider. Stupid spider. I feel like I'm in Minecraft. Spiders are killing me. Speaking of Minecraft, I'd like to give a shout out to my friend Emp Grievous's uh, Minecraft playthrough found at youtube.com slash Emp Grievous. It's an excellent Minecraft playthrough. I recommend you check it out if you haven't already. He also plays Super Mario Galaxy, not a playthrough on YouTube, and various other video games. Good friend of mine. Definitely check out his videos. And we will run around to the opening and find our way into this glass cage. We will collect more star bits after we kill this guy. Die. <clears throat> Mario games emphasize killing a lot. Very important. You must defeat the enemy and the bosses. Kill them all. Getting star bits as quickly as possible. Uh, there's an area I wanted to go to, but we're gonna skip it because I don't have the patience for it. Now we'll end up more spiders. Spiders. Spiders everywhere. Don't be an arachnophobe here. Bad. You will find a lost toad. Free the lost toad by shooting it. This is an interesting technique introduced in this level. It's going to be used again later. You're going to need to be a lot more precise than you are now, because right now, you don't need to be very precise at all. Later, precision is going to kill you. Turn off by a couple of tenths of a degree. You're like, oh, come on, close enough. But it's not close. close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and a nuclear weapon you don't need to be close. Same with some. But God can hit wherever he wants. And we'll get another power up mushroom. Not really gonna be necessary. This boss is very easy to defeat. But it's there, so we might as well use it. <clears throat> now I'm a little uh, lazy, so we're not gonna kill all these spiders with the my way. We're going to stop there, and we're going to head right to our boss. <coughs> hey, I wasn't that perfect, Don. Thanks for correcting me, game. Now, this is very simple. Use the concept and hit the boss. And now you're in boss. Fairly easy boss to defeat. Avoid the sprays of toxic sludge, and run. To the back of the boss. Hit him. Inverted. And by inverting him, we're going to hit his three weak points. Expose his underbelly. Take out his weak And all three are done. And you have to do it again. And it's hard this time because he screws up more sludge. So don't 
don't screw up like I just did. It's bad. It's wasting your time. And you flip them over again. This time you gotta be a little bit quicker than before. Shouldn't be a little bit of And that's all three Power Star guys. And the star is ours. If I can hit it right. Hold up. This is my worst control scheme. Anything in the game. You got a power star. Okay, let's go right on back. Look, another Hungry Loom has appeared. You'll be using that later. Okay, let's head on back to the Space Dream Galaxy with a speedy combat. And we will be doing Pulse Star Path Speed Run. I believe the time minute is... Four and a half minutes, or maybe four minutes flat. We'll find out in a few seconds anyway, so let's not speculate. I think I'm going to have to run on a fast time, but anyway, so... Yeah, four minutes, and we're going to be going a lot faster than that. We're going faster than four minutes, because we don't have four minutes. Recording time. Yeah, I probably should have made this a little bit of this episode, but, you know. The more the better. Pool stars are fast anymore. Just don't screw up on these spears. Okay, star chip, star chip. Start chip number five. Let's get a launch star and let's go. Let's go. Launch, launch, launch. Let's get the hell out of here. We got more time. We got no time to spare. I'm still gonna get a decent amount of star bitch. Star bitch with plenty of food. See, I almost screwed up there, wasting significant time. Don't screw up like I did. Take your time and in the end, it'll speed you up anyway. Believe me. I know only from experience. We're gonna collect only the starters on this side. And there we go. Let's free these goombas. Let's free these goombas. The goomba can stay behind and kill them. I think we have enough time to get this. Here we go, let's move on to the final planet. Like a minute left. I know it's in a minute 43 minutes. Trust me, we only have a minute. The screen is lying to you. Okay, we're almost done. Don't screw it up yet. Um, never mind. We don't know about that. Yet. Okay, we're almost done. One more silver star to get. The star is ours. And it looks like the star is ours. Okay. 
Okay, Star's gotten. That's it for this episode. Catch you guys right back here next time.